Somebody give me the cello tape, huh? I don't know who's taking the cello tape. I did car design in school as masters, yeah. After my masters in architecture, yeah. And I've been always been designing cars. Yeah? My thesis project was a car for West Africa, yeah. After I got the sack from my job, I, was, I used to be design director somewhere. I just got the sack, and I didn't know what to do with my time. So I thought it was time to build the car, yeah, that would change the fortunes of this country, yeah. This car is a car that is hundred percent designed and built in Nigeria by Nigerians. All of us in the team are Nigerians. All the materials we bought in use here were made in Nigeria and fabricated in this factory. We started this project three years ago in July 2015. Um, I started in my back garden and then Azuka came around and said, oh, you should do this in my factory. I've, I've got better welders than this guy that is helping you weld that doesn't really know what he's doing. And we, we came here and he got better well done. This vehicle is inspired by this guy here. This is, this is the Nigerian warrior protector. This guy is an everyday Nigerian of every tribe in Nigeria. Every tribe in Nigeria has these attributes. So this Agbada that he's wearing, the Danshiki here, is what we've used for this car. Because you see this Danshiki has really big open uh, side here. So if you look at the car, it's very, very big open sides. And the, the form of the car is like, the, the, the opening is like a shield. So if you look at the side, you have a big shield there to shield the um, occupants. And he has these anklets around his ankles. And if you look at the side, um, the, the, fenders. the, the um, wheel arches, yeah, they're really big. So when downfalls come from the side to take you out, you know, like a toll gate or anything, these things will protect you. And we made the car very big, as you can see, yeah, so that it, its presence alone will stop people from bullying you on the road. It won't go under, it won't be like my Toyota Camry that can easily go under a trailer. You know, this one will never go under a trailer. And the, if you look at the front of the car, it's pointed like a spear. This is to force its way through traffic. You know, I'm not saying it's going to be dangerous, you know, as you can see, it's very harmless, but like, people will not get the impression that they can mess around with you. And it's state-of-the-art 21st century design. If you look at it, it, looks, it almost looks like a, a rocket or a spaceship. Because, you know, that's the, you know, we, we're designing it unapologetically on the same level as the tightest design on planet Earth today. You know, and all these openings you see are because this car is going to be open all the time. Whenever it rains, we have we have a roofing system. Mm -hmm. we, are, we, we, we are going to we're going, we're, we're going to put it on later today. That is louvering. So on top is like louvers. So it opens uh, in the when it's when it when it's when dry, it's and when when it, when it's wet, it closes. And on the sides, it has a drawdown uh, suspension system. This is a non-working prototype. The way it's done in the car industry, yeah. You will, we will get the car done, and then the powering of it mm, will be subcontracted. So we've already had people come in to here to offer us solar powering uh, systems, to offer us petrol systems and electric systems. So we are going to choose which one is most cost effective for Nigerians. 
Yeah? We think right now that we should start solar energy research. But remember that there are other things coming to play because we don't want going forward this thing just to be about powering systems. We want to use bamboo and our native uh, materials also because in his village in Ishagu, in Delta State, they have a lot of bamboo. The biggest challenge I think Nigeria has is the glorification of individuals. Industry is about teams. About teams. One man can have all his vision and try everything. But if we don't get the spirit of collaboration, if you don't get to use people's talent, those talents that come together is what makes it possible. Before now, engineers have not had a, a product designed and they need to now come and work to dimensions to put their engineering into it. For weight, they will check the drivetrain system. They will check what kind of weight is the final vehicle going to be. But all of that, without this done, the engineers will be asking for where are the working drawings, for example. You don't have working drawings if you don't do, do this. this. You can easily take working drawings from this now. Anyone from this now, anybody can take working drawings. From this, 10 variations. He has more than... If you see his sketchbook, you'll be shocked. He already has a bicycle solution that designed after this. Is. In fact, we currently are developing a pushed cart solution designed, designed after, after this. this. Yeah. So this three-year exercise is the beginning of advanced industry. Even if